I'm thinking of a little girl named Sabrina who last month sent me a Valentine's Day card in the shape of a heart. It was the first Valentine I got. <laughs> I got, got it from Sabrina before Malia and Sasha and Michelle gave me one. So she's 11, she's 11 years old, she's in the fifth grade. She's a young Muslim American. And she said in her Valentine, I enjoy being an American. And when she grows up, she wants to be an engineer or a basketball player. <laughs> Which are, are good choices. <laughs> but she wrote, uh, I am worried about people hating Muslims. If some Muslims do bad things, that doesn't mean all of them do. And she asked, please tell everyone that we are good people and we're just like everyone else. Now, those are the words and the wisdom of a little girl growing up here in America, just like my daughters are growing up here in America. We're just like everybody else. And everybody needs to remember that during the course of this debate. As we move forward with these challenges, we all have responsibilities. We all have hard work ahead of us on this issue. We can't paper over problems. And we're not going to solve this if we're always just trying to be politically correct. But we do have to remember that 11-year-old girl. That's our hope. That's our future. That's how we discredit violent ideologies, by making sure her voice is lifted up, making sure she's nurtured, making sure that she's supported, and then recognizing there are little girls and boys like that all around the world, and us helping to address economic and political grievances that can be exploited by extremists and empowering local communities, and us staying true to our values as a diverse and tolerant society, even when we're threatened, especially when we're threatened. There will be a military component to this. There, there, there are, are savage cruelties going on out there that have to be stopped. ISIL is killing Muslims at a rate that, that is, is many multiples, uh, the rate that they're killing non-Muslims. Everybody has a stake in stopping them, and there will be uh, an, an element of, of us just stopping them in their tracks with force. But to eliminate the, the soil out of which they grew, to make sure that we are giving a brighter future to everyone and a lasting sense of security, then we're going to have to make it clear to all of our children, including that little girl in fifth grade, that you have a place. You have a place here in America. You have a place in those countries where you live. You have a future. Ultimately, those are the antidotes to violent extremism. And that's work that we're going to have to do together. It will take time. This is a generational challenge. But after 238 years, uh, it should be obvious, uh, America has overcome much bigger challenges. And we'll overcome the ones that we face today. We will stay united and committed to the ideals that have shaped us for more than two centuries, including the opportunity and justice and dignity of every single human being. Thank you very much, everybody.